Thank you for your purchase. This video will help guide you through the installation process. The suggested tools for installation are Phillips head screwdriver, tape measure, leveling device, wire cutters, adjustable wrench, and power drill. This is the antenna. It allows the remote control to communicate with the shade. While it is okay to move or reposition the antenna, it cannot be cut or trimmed in any way. Before you begin, you will need to determine your type of installation. If you are installing your shade on a wall or beam, as shown here, you are performing a wall installation. If you are installing your shade underneath a beam or overhang, as shown here, you are performing a ceiling installation. Before you mount the brackets, consider the following tips. Your shade comes with a total of three valance brackets. You must install at least two of them. The third bracket is optional, but is recommended for shades larger than six feet wide. The two required brackets should be installed near the ends of the shade. Important, do not install the valance brackets in the first two inches of either side of the shade. If you choose to install the third bracket, install at or near the center of your shade. When installing your valance brackets, you must allow at least a one inch clearance behind or above the bracket to allow the shade to click into place. It is important to install your brackets into wood studs. If wood studs are not available, anchors will be needed. Contact your local hardware store for information on wall anchors. It is very important that your valance brackets are installed level with each other. If your brackets are crooked, or if they are not level with each other, your shade will not install correctly. An installation template has been provided to help you align your pilot holes. To use your template, temporarily adhere it to the mounting surface, making sure that the template is flat and straight. Hold a bracket up to the template to mark your pilot holes. You will need to place a bracket on both ends of the shade and near the center if you are using the third optional bracket. Remember, the valance brackets cannot be installed on the extreme edges of the shade. You must allow two inches of clearance from the ends. Mark and drill your pilot holes. If you are doing a wall installation, your tabs must be facing down towards the ground. If you are doing a ceiling installation, the tabs must be facing you, towards the front of the shade. Install your mounting brackets using two screws per bracket. Now it is time to install your shade. For a wall installation, start by hooking the top of the valance on the top of the brackets. Then, rotate the shade down until you hear it click into place. For a ceiling installation, start by hooking the back of the shade on the back of the brackets. Then rotate the front of the shade up and click into place. When clicking your shade into place, it may help to use an object, such as a screwdriver, to press the thumb latch in. Your shade battery comes pre-charged. When you need to charge your shade, Connect it to a standard 110 volt electrical outlet using the included power adapter. The battery will fully charge in three to four hours. The light on the power adapter will turn green when the shade is fully charged. A red light indicates that the shade is charging. Your remote control battery is included in your hardware kit. Install the battery with the positive side facing the back of the remote. Your remote control has five buttons. Up, Stop, Down, Channel Increase, and Channel Decrease. 
If the battery is installed correctly, the red light in the upper right corner of the remote control should illuminate when you press the stop button. The indicator lights at the top of the remote indicates what channel you are operating. The remote can operate up to five shades, one shade per channel. The top indicator light is channel one. The next one down is channel two, followed by channel three, four, and five. Your shade comes pre-programmed to operate on channel one. To change the channel you are operating, press the channel increase button or the channel decrease button. When all five channel buttons are lit, your remote will operate all five channels at once. When you roll your shade up, it will automatically stop at a predetermined point. This is called the top limit. When you roll the shade down, it will also stop automatically at a given point. This is called the bottom limit. The factory default upper limit is about four inches from the valance. The factory default lower limit is about 96 inches below the valance. Both the upper limit and lower limit can be changed. If you would like to change the top and or bottom limit, you will need to complete these steps. If you are happy with the default top and bottom limit, you can skip this process. Your motor will make beeping sounds during many programming steps. These beeps let you know that signals are being received. Therefore, we recommend keeping background noise to a minimum and try to stand as close to the shade as possible when programming. To begin, you will need to delete the factory top and bottom limits. Make sure your remote is set to the correct channel, usually channel 1. Push the programming button on the back of the remote. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep. Press the down button, the fabric will jog and the motor will beep. Press the program button again. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep four times. Your top and bottom limits have now been deleted. Next, you will need to get your shade into limit setting mode. Keep in mind that you must set both your top and bottom limit to complete this process. Make sure your remote is set to channel one. Using a paper clip or similar tool, push the programming button on the back of the remote. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep. Press the up button. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep. Then press the programming button again. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep four times. You are now in limit setting mode. Note, you will need to press all three buttons on the remote within 10 seconds of each other. Using your remote, bring your fabric to a stop at your desired top limit location. Now press and hold the stop button for three seconds. The motor will beep four times, the fabric will jog, then the motor will beep one more time. Using your remote, bring your fabric to a stop at your desired bottom limit. Now press and hold the stop button for three seconds. The motor will beep four times, the fabric will jog, then the motor will beep one more time. Your shade will exit limit setting mode automatically. Note, you must set both top and bottom limits to exit limit setting mode. Your shade includes a remote control holder that allows you to mount your remote control to a wall or beam. Note, if you mount your remote control outdoors, make sure the remote is never exposed to water or direct sunlight. The remote control is not waterproof. To complete this step, you will need the remote control bracket pictured here. Using the two remote control bracket screws, install the bracket with the narrow side of the bracket against the wall or beam. Now slide the remote control holder over the bracket and slide your remote control into the holder. Your shade includes a cable tie down system to keep your shade secured during mild wind conditions. If you will be using your shade indoors or do not want to use the cable tie down system, you have completed your installation. If you do want to use the cable tie down system, the following steps will need to be completed. Begin by screwing the cable into the valance. Note, if the cable tie downs cannot be fixed in a straight line underneath the valance, the tie down system will not function properly. Next, lower your shade to the bottom limit. Make a horizontal mark underneath both bottom tube plugs. 
Thread your cable through the bottom two plug and make a vertical mark where the cable intersects the horizontal mark. You may need to roll the fabric up to complete this step. You will next install the cable bracket, pictured here. Begin by removing the cable bolt and cable nut, if necessary. Then align the cable bracket directly under the horizontal mark and centered on the intersection with the vertical mark. Use the provided 1 inch screws and install your bracket. Loosen the bracket lock screw and thread the cable through the cable bolt. Pull the cable taut, slide the nut over the bottom of the cable, then insert the cable bolt into the cable bracket. Tighten both the bracket lock screw and the cable bolt nut using a wrench. Cut any excess cable slack underneath the cable bracket with wire cutters. If you purchase multiple shades and would like to program one of your remotes to operate multiple shades, keep watching to learn how. If this does not apply to you, your installation and programming is complete. Before programming multiple shades to work on a single remote, make sure you set the top and bottom limits for each shade using its original remote. To begin this process, you will need to determine which shade and remote you would like to make your primary shade and remote. That is, which remote you will add other shades to on alternate channels such as 2, 3, 4, or 5. Place your primary remote on channel 2. Now set the secondary remote on channel 1. Be careful to remember which remote goes with each shade. This process will copy the channel 1 frequency from your secondary remote to channel 2 on your primary remote. On the secondary remote, press the programming button once. The motor will beep and the fabric will jog. Then press it again. The motor will beep and the fabric will jog. On the primary remote, press the programming button once. The fabric will jog and the motor will beep several times confirming that the frequency has been copied onto your primary remote. Make sure to push all three buttons within 10 seconds of each other. You should now be able to operate your primary shade on channel 1 and your secondary shade on channel 2 of your primary remote. You can also operate both shades simultaneously if you highlight all five channels on your primary remote. You can add additional shades to the remote by selecting other unused channels on your primary remote and repeating this process with additional shades. If something went wrong during your programming process, keep watching for additional help. If your remote no longer operates your shade correctly, you can reset your shade and remote. This process will also erase any top and bottom limits you may have set. This is a two-step process. To erase the remote frequency, begin by pressing the programming button. The motor will beep and the fabric will jog. Then press the stop button. The motor will beep and the fabric will jog. Then press the programming button again. The motor should beep several times and the fabric will jog. If this process worked correctly, your remote will no longer operate the shade. Before you begin, make sure your remote is set to the channel you want your shade to operate on, usually channel 1. You will now need to find the green reset button located next to the antenna. Once you have located this button, press it for about 3 seconds. Once you release the button, the motor will beep. Then press the programming button on the back of your remote twice, for about 1 second each time. The fabric will jog once and the motor will beep after each button press. Press the up button on the remote. The motor will beep several times and the fabric will jog. Note: If you accidentally press down instead of up on this step, the up and down functions on your remote will be reversed. To correct this, you will need to start this process over. You should now be able to operate your shade on channel 1. We recommend setting upper and lower limits as shown earlier in this video. 
For additional help, please see the troubleshooting section of your instruction manual located on page 8. Thank you for your purchase.